Big, obviously it's been a year since we've had a chance to watch you fight. So uh, l let me know, what's, what's this year been like? Has it been frustrating that you didn't get to compete? 2020 was a little bit frustrating for me, you know. Uh, I have a kind of lot of a lot of plans, you know, especially because I started my year like real good, you know, and, like come with a win uh, uh, over uh, Anthony Pettis, and everything hit me, you know, COVID, you know, after pandemic, I have a plan to have my my uh, proper home, you know get married, you know, I would not married, but get married uh, uh, on the church with my wife. I was planning to do that. Like, uh, we kind of have the plan to have another baby. We lost the baby. Thing, things going really well, like not very well the, uh, after the pandemic for me, you know, but uh, 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 I still try to get another fight after there. But, you know, what 2020 was for me, like a trouble year for me, you know, as a will, uh, uh, really, hard year for me but finally I'm here and that's what I'm looking for and I'm happy I'm super excited and I can't wait for February 6th. What what was the focus like for you like professionally as, as a fighter like you say because you had like arguably the biggest win of your career right at least the most high profile and then all these bad things happen so I mean have you been in the gym have you been able to, to train or was it tough to even do that? No uh, 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 between the pandemic I was not uh, I was not in the gym you know um but I was trying like really hard to keep in my my training, especially at home, you know, stay stay focused, you know. Things sometimes is hard for me, but I can't complain. I just keep like grinding every every, every day of my day, you know. I was in the gym. I have my uh, my own gym, South Texas. I was like training every day with my own students, you know, like like small group of guys, but you know, I was what I could do it, you know. I was not like going to Fort MMA. Normally, that's what I do. You know, I'm driving to Dallas nine hours. But you know, between that, like I was trying to be in shape. I try being focused. Try I, I calling people out. You know, to see if somebody want to fight. Especially one feet five. You know, people really just want to have the big, big fight money. But you know, things happen for a reason. Were you, uh, were you upset that it's not Drew Dober, or did that, did that fight even matter? Because you guys were scheduled twice, right? Was that a fight you really wanted, or did it really matter to you? It the, the really mattered for me, but I really want to fight him because he's a guy coming up with two, you know, like especially how many wins and, you know, like impressed wins he, he, he come with uh, 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 over so many guys. And for me, I was just one more fight to get me out there, get ex expose myself a little bit more, you know. Uh, but uh, talking about like that fight, I, I maybe can still want to fight him, you know, like especially in the future after the, this one, we never know, yeah. you know. So instead you got this rematch. I mean, is this a rematch that you wanted? I mean, is this a fight that you were hoping to get back at some point? Uh, on, on a point in my career, not really. I was not even looking to that, you know, but I'm, I, I'm really, I'm glad to this happening, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm really, you know, excited, get me more hungry to, to get there inside the octagon and give my all. And I, I'm just, you know, happy to, to, to get this one now. Yeah. Did you go back and watch the first fight at all, or does it even matter at this point in your career? Like, I mean, that was kind of a long time ago, right? It's a long time ago, you know. We, we improved, like me and Bernard Roche, we, we improved so much, you know. We're completely different, uh, two different fighters now. And, uh, uh, I really don't look on there. I know I try watch my my coach try like you know you need to watch you know coach safe it's you know how it is sometimes, <laughs> but you know I try keep it you know uh, uh, focus uh, on on the on the, the on the fight study because you need some fight uh, like look the video especially rematch you don't want things happen the same way it happened the last time and I, I keep my focus keep studying keep it like uh, 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 see what I did wrong what I did right. I think try to capitalize on the, those points. It's kind of interesting, right? Because I feel like you two guys are two of like the most like l lack of respect. I don't want to say disrespected, but you know, like not they don't receive the respect you deserve. Do you, do you feel like that? That you two guys are kind of in a similar position that you know you've had great careers and maybe don't get talked about as those those top contenders? Yeah, I, I think so too. Sometimes, especially like the way I say, like everybody want to fight just the big money fight, you know, and those like to talk too much, you know, on, on, on the vision, but we're down there, you know, we climb ourselves up on, on, on the division, and, you know, we're gonna 
show is passion show the the the, the people we not just uh, mediocre fighters, you know, we're high level too, and we have to get there, make impact on the division, and I'm, I think we're gonna put a show to see, to people can see we're gonna, you know, we are good fighters too. Do you ever talk to your wife or talk to coach and say, maybe I need to try this trash talking thing, man, maybe I need to try that out a little bit? Yeah, it's something, uh, uh, I was talking to coach Zavi too with my wife, and and she's like, no, you, you're bad in that. You're like, you're not good in that. You know, you're too respectful, you know. It, it, I, I understand that. Like, I, I on myself, I want to be a role model for my kids, you know. Like, I, I don't need that to be, uh, to boil my, my, my blood, you know, to make me hungry for something, you know. I want to be the respectful guy, respectful guy, you know, show, like, the, to, to achieve your dream, you just need to be, Hunger mentally, you know, mentally and, and prepare for yourself as much as you can. I dig it. Well, last thing for me, as you said, 2020, bad year. Hopefully 2021 will be better. What's, what's the goals this year? Because a win here, I think the fight's going to be exciting either way, right? So a win here, you got this amazing win streak. What's, what's the plan for yourself this year? I, I want to I wanna fight at least like three more, uh, three more times this year, you know. I'm really excited. Start my year. I hope again, you know, you started there the right way and, and you know, put in God's hands and, and, and I hope get in the, uh, a good uh, matchup after this, you know, and I, I would have a couple names. I want to let, just let it go after the fight. My focus run right now is 110% on, on, on Ben Roche. You mentioned uh, traveling nine hours to Dallas to train. Yeah, I, I do like, like not every week. But I do like every like two weeks to go to to Forters. It's Zach is in Dallas. I live all the way in South Texas, right on the board of, between Mexico and in, in, in uh, uh, Texas. And we drive that much. It's, I have uh, some help too, and I drive by myself for the majority of the time. You know, I have a, a, a group of guys. Uh, I have a friend. He always have a, a time to to work with me. You know, it's drive all the way. To Dallas, nine hours, stay for one day, do what I have to do, train hard, uh, do my sparring section, and nine hours back to, to my to my gym and get back to my work. You don't do that in one day, do you? I do. Oh, I do oh, sometimes. Oh, <laughs> I do, I'm not gonna lie, you know. <laughs> I, I I do. Like that's what the most thing coach safe got mad at me because I do sometimes in one day, like just go uh, on Tuesday morning early, uh, no, Monday morning, like early, nine hours. And after the, the Tuesday night, after the sparring section, I drive right away back, you know. I'm a crazy like that, but, you know, I like to be around those people, you know, have so much, uh, a good environment, you know. And, and, and they make me so much better, you know, on through there. Like, I, I have so many guys, like, helping me out to, to be ready for this fight, you know. And nine hours, you know, not nine hours. It could be like what, well, like fourteen, uh, like uh, almost 20, 18 hours, you know, driving. But everything have a price, you know. It's not like I, 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 I the next day I have to like relax. No, I, the next day I'm really back to the gym and work back myself again and try relax a little bit, but not as a hard train for the next day, but a little bit more less but I moved back to the gym the next day. Are you going to invest in one of those Teslas that drives for you, the driverless car? Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe one day, you know, when I have a money, enough money to, to buy one of those, for sure it's gonna be a helpful right there, you know? <laughs>